Hey everyone, if you've had COVID and you're struggling with regaining back your strength and endurance, this week's video is for you. I go over the exercises and strategies that can be used to regain back your quality of life. I hope you find great value in the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more informational videos about PT and how they can improve your life. All right, so first off, the reason why exercise will help you recover from COVID much more quickly is that it allows the alveoli or the tiny blood vessels in your lungs to process oxygen more effectively. With that being said, if you need to take a break and you're feeling breathless, just take that break. It's going to take some time to recover from COVID and we need to be patient and understand that it's going to be a journey of regaining back your strength and endurance. So during today's video, I'm going to be covering some bed-based sitting as well as standing exercises depending on your level of ability when first beginning to recover from COVID. Before we get into any of this, we want to first learn some breathing techniques. So there's two of them and they can be used together. The first of which you want to just place your hands on your thorax right here and breathe deeply in and out, allowing your hands to feel the movement, breathing as deeply as you can. You want to breathe at least three to five times as just an easy warm up. And what you can do is combine this with what's called pursed lip breathing. So breathing in through your nose and out through pursed lips. This may cause you to cough. And if you're doing it and feeling lightheaded, just do it for a little time when beginning. Just as long as you can before you start to feel that dizziness. What pursed lip breathing does, it, is, it allows us to take a much more deep inhalation, filling our lungs more effectively, and also generate enough pressure to fully expel all the trapped stale air from what's called our residual space. A space where air can get trapped in the lungs, cutting down on the functional and optimal use of your lungs. Yet another breathing technique early on following COVID is to use some big pillows and cross them so that we can raise our head up at a greater incline so that you can breathe easier while in bed. So to do this, we want to use three large pillows, cross the first two like this, and place the third over the top, and then lay back. This position will allow us to breathe much more easily. and It'll be much more comfortable early on following COVID. So if you're just starting to recover from COVID and you want to use exercise to facilitate your recovery, the first exercise I'd recommend is a supine march. To do this, you want to lay down on your back and bring one knee back towards your chest and lower and alternate sides. I would start slow, maybe five to 10 repetitions only. You can combine this with the breathing strategy as previously discussed if you want, which would be in through the nose, out through first lips. If that feels easy, I would recommend straightening out your leg and raising the entire leg, just the level of your other leg and coming down slowly. That's a straight leg raise. In addition to this, I would work on a bridge, which you can do by lifting your hips. These exercises are designed to strengthen your core, which will help you facilitate your recovery back into a walking program, which will really help you to get back on your feet with improved strength and endurance. Another exercise to work on would be what's called lower trunk rotation. So rotating side to side. 
in a pain-free range of motion. A lot of the time after we spend a lot of time in bed, our low back can become quite stiff and painful. So this exercise is great to both loosen up the low back and strengthen our core. Also along with this is your low back can get quite tight and put some pressure on the sciatic nerve, causing sciatica or pain down the leg. Something that can help to reduce this pain and prevent this issue is to stretch out the piriformis muscle group. To do this, we want to stretch one leg over the other and gently come down, placing one hand towards the ankle, one hand around the knee, and holding a moderate stretch for 30 seconds. You want to stretch both sides. At, again, a moderate intensity for 30 seconds. Another stretch that may help with preventing low back soreness is to just bring one knee towards your chest and straighten out the other leg. Now these are best done on a firm surface, but it's okay if you do it on a bed or a couch in the beginning. Whatever you have, it's just important that we start moving your body. Okay, so when progressing into sitting exercises following COVID, the first one I'd recommend is a seated march. To do this, you can use arm support if you'd like. Sit tall and raise one knee at a time, alternating sides. It's better to sit up tall so we can bring in more of your core, but if you need to in the beginning, you can lay back, which will allow you to get a little bit further range of motion and maybe less taxing. The second exercise is what's called a long arc quad, or sometimes referred to as seated kicks. To do this one, we want to make sure that we're keeping our hands on our thighs. This will allow us to strengthen these muscles more quickly and effectively through the principle of tactile facilitation. So kicking out, kicking out, again trying to sit tall. Another would be heels and toes, so lifting your heels, lifting your toes. Lifting your heels, lifting your toes, back and forth. And finally, the last one is called hip abduction, which you bring your legs out to the side and back the side and back. There's different versions of this. If, it, if that's tough to do the lift in the beginning, you can drag your feet against the floor using the floor as a, as a source of friction, or you can get into the lift and touch. Which is much more effective in terms of building core and hip strength. After spending a long time in bed, our shoulders can get quite stiff. And what this can do is bring our head forward and our shoulders forward, constricting the lungs, decreasing your ability to breathe. So that's what this is really all about, is getting the shoulders back so you can breathe more easily. So you only wanna do shoulder rolls backwards, because that's gonna help what's called with postural strengthening, or getting the shoulders back. Another exercise that goes along with that is what's called scapular squeezes, or having our hands together and then opening up. Acting like you're squeezing something between your shoulder blades. You can combine these with that pursed lip breathing, which would look like
But if that's causing you to cough too much in the beginning or it's just really uncomfortable, just stick with whatever breathing works better for you. Okay, and we're finally progressing into standing exercises. The first is called a sit to stand. You can use arm rests if you like, but the first movement is to come up into standing and to come down slowly. After you've got this position down, try to graduate to not using any hands. You can either use your hands the way I am, coming down to your sides as you come up, or just keep them crossed. Always do this technique with a chair behind you in case you lose your balance. That way you'll just fall into the chair and not onto the floor. So if it's more comfortable for you and you feel more safe, use a chair in front of you. But be sure to keep that chair behind you when possible. That would look like this. The next is called hip kicks, and you want to kick in three directions. Forward, to the side, and back. If that's challenging, I'd alternate sides every time. But as you get stronger, you can isolate one side. The next is a standing march, and bring in an arm swing to that. The next is kicking back, hamstring curl. And then finally into a heel to toe lift. So this video has been all about what are the best exercises to allow you to recover from COVID, but there are so many different topics I could post about. It really just depends on what you guys would like to see. So be sure to post your comments below and subscribe so I can do my best to create a meaningful video for you or a loved one to improve quality of life. This is Dr. John Mayo, physical therapist, really hoping that this program has been helpful for you or a loved one and improves your life.